Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ashley and every week I share my budget grocery hauls. I have a family of four that lives in Southern California and our budget is $150 a week. Today I spent $137.92. I'm gonna go over everything, what it's used for, and I'll put the prices up on the screen so you can see how much it cost. I shopped at Aldi, and if you wanna see the meals I'm making, go ahead and check out the description box where you can find my one week meal plan. Let's get right into the snacks. So for snacks, I didn't purchase that many snacks because this company, Jeff's Famous Jerky, sent me all of these items to sample and review for you. I tried the orange peel jerky, which I've never had a citrus jerky before, but that citrus flavor and the sweetness was really good. Highly recommend it. Also, this teriyaki one, the jerky is really soft and the flavor is just really concentrated. So it really tastes authentic, homemade jerky with a really rich, savory flavor. So I really like that one. All of their items can be purchased on their website, jeffsfamousjerky.com. So thank you for sending this to me. We're gonna enjoy these snacks. I'm also gonna make a snack mix at the end of this video so you can see how I'm using this product for a savory, delicious snack mix. And that's why I didn't need to purchase that many snacks. There's a 10% off code in my description box. And if you wanna sign up for the newsletter, they will also send you more discounts. All right, and then now for my Aldi snacks. Um, by the way, that beef jerky was sent to me for free, but they didn't pay me to advertise it. I really did like it, and I don't share everything that I get if I don't like it, and that was really good. I also got these veggie straws from Aldi for the kids for a savory snack, and I picked up more of these fruit and grain bars, the strawberry flavor. They also have raspberry, cherry, apple, and blueberry if you are interested. Then for some desserts, we still have ice cream cones and we ran out of ice cream, so I got some chocolate chip cookie dough. This is like Dryer's ice cream. It's really creamy and delicious. I also picked up a new chocolate bar to me. It's crunchy peanut butter. I just thought that sounded really good and this is gonna be for me because no one else in my house really likes chocolate peanut butter like I do. I thought a fun summer dessert would be some s'mores, so I got some graham crackers for that. Of course, I needed marshmallows, so I got a bag of marshmallows. They also had like giant marshmallows if you're into those. Those just cost more, so I got the regular. And I got some regular milk chocolate. They also sell Hershey's if you're interested in that. And those are all the snacks for this week. For breakfast, I picked up some milk for chocolate milk and cereal. Some orange juice just to drink in the morning. Some creamer for coffee. This is the vanilla flavor. We picked out some plain bagels. This is just a staple. My youngest is having half a bagel with scrambled eggs every morning. We're all not big breakfast eaters, so she's like the main one. Also, it's summer, so we've been sleeping in past breakfast and doing more of a brunch. I did get two dozen eggs. They only had brown eggs. Um, the price wasn't bad, though. They had no white eggs. I always go for which one's the cheapest. I got some butter for toast, and then I also got two things of strawberries. For lunches, I picked up a box of shells and cheese, which is the equivalent of Velveeta. I also got a can of tuna because I thought that that sounded good. I got a pound of cheddar cheese. We can shred this for quesadillas because we still have some tortillas from last week. Or we can just do, um, I think we're gonna do an appetizer night and I might make a charcuterie board and cut up some of this cheese for that. I like doing little deli wraps. We have salami left over from last week or with the tuna, I might do some wraps and iceberg lettuce with these banana pepper rings. Also, I could do a mock Olive Garden salad because I have the Olive Garden dressing in my fridge and I like that with iceberg lettuce. So I got iceberg. I picked up some baby carrots. Also, it's like really hot, and I don't know why this fruit cocktail just sounded so good. I ate this a lot growing up. My kids don't like it, but I mean, I literally ate this all the time growing up, so I just really wanted that. Just sounded so good. Got some baby carrots and a two pound bag of honey crisp apples. I picked out a big round watermelon, so hopefully, that one will be really good. Also, they had cherries on sale, finally, 99 cents a pound, so I picked out a bag of cherries. And for a quick lunch this week, I got this four cheese gnocchi. And 
yeah, I thought I'd try it out. They also had another flavor. I can't remember what it was, but it had like a tomato sauce, and I opted for the white sauce. All right, so they had the shaved beef that I wanted to get last week, and they didn't have it, so I got it for this week. And we're gonna do Philly cheesesteak baked potatoes, so just like that on a baked potato. I have everything else except for the meat. I got some avocado oil spray just for cooking. I picked up a big pack of chicken drumsticks, a really affordable option for feeding your family. I air fry these, and you can put barbecue sauce, garlic parmesan, buffalo sauce, you can do like a lemon pepper rub. Whatever you like on wings are good on drumsticks. We're gonna have that with rice. So I got some jasmine rice. We're also gonna do like a hibachi style dinner with chicken. Um, so half of this chicken will be with that and we'll do rice with that. And then some broccoli. I got two bags of broccoli florets. I also got green onions for that just to give it some more flavor. And then whatever onions we don't use, I'll just, um, chop them up and freeze them for other meals. We got burgers last week. I got the um, frozen patties and I saw a TikTok for Caprizi burgers and it sounded so good. So I got some mozzarella cheese for that. Anything left over will go into our appetizer night. I also got this pesto because it's with a pesto aioli for those burgers. And I already have balsamic glaze and tomatoes. So that will be perfect. This pesto will be with that. For our appetizer night, I got this baguette, and I also got this herbed goat cheese, and that's just going to be a mix of leftovers, um, anything mozzarella, any leftover cheddar cheese, any leftover salami from my last week's haul, um, little frozen odds and ends. We have like mini tacos, pizza rolls. Um, we have just so much stuff. We just kind of make a big charcuterie plate and have appetizers for dinner when we're trying to clear out the fridge and freezer. And then our last meal is going to be a chicken pesto pasta. So the rest of this chicken will be in that. We're gonna have peas with it. I'm gonna use more of this pesto. Um, I'll have some left, so I'll either freeze it or I'll add another pesto meal next week to use this up. I'm gonna do heavy cream in that to make it like a creamy pesto sauce. And I also might make some fresh whipped cream to put on our strawberries and do that for a dessert one night. For the pasta, I went with the rigatoni. I think that's just really good for pesto pasta. I needed some chicken broth for the sauce and I got a box of garlic bread to go with that meal. So that is everything for this week of groceries. I was under budget by $12, which kind of works out great because we're gonna do a pizza night and the kids want to get Little Caesars pizza. So Little Caesars is a really affordable pizza and it's their favorite. So it works out beneficial in both ways. It tastes good and it's cheap. So we're going to do that for our pizza night. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're enjoying these budget grocery hauls, give my video a thumbs up. Oh my gosh, I totally went around these fries. I got three bags of these curly fries because they're um, at Aldi for a limited time. They're so good. Literally once or twice a year you'll see them. So I got three bags to stock up because I knew I was under budget. So again, if you're enjoying these budget Walmart or budget grocery hauls, this week was from Aldi, then make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next week with another video. Thank you again for all your support and I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye. So the quick recipe I'm making today is just a snacks mix. This is some corn checks from Aldi, some habanero barbecue almonds, some pub pretzels from Aldi, and I'm also going to add this Jeff's Famous Beef Jerky that they sent to me in the sweet teriyaki flavor, and some of the maple brown sugar flavor. So a good way to use up some extra items you have on hand, um, or like little odds and ends, is to make a snack mix. You can do a savory version like I'm doing today, or you can do a sweet version. Um, the sweet version, you can do cereals, dried fruits, candies, um, plain nuts, and stuff like that. And with the savory versions, you can do plain cereals, salty nuts, salty snacks, and more savory items like jerky. Makes a really good addition to a snack mix and really bulks up your snack. So I'm just going to add the pretzels in. I'm going to add the nuts in. I'm going to give it a mix. 
and then I'm going to add the jerky. And this is a portion of that snack mix with the jerky, the nuts, the pretzels, and the cereal. Um, that looks like a really good snack. I'm excited to get into this. If you wanted to see the bacon jerky, it literally is pieces of dried bacon, and it has a really nice maple flavor to it. I think this would really be a good topping on top of a donut also, like a maple bacon donut. I think that would be really good. And then this is the sweet teriyaki, which is the favorite of the one that they sent me. It just has a really deep, rich flavor that I liked. So if you wanna order Jeff's Famous Jerky, you can go to JeffsFamousJerky.com and order it there. Thank you again for sending this to me. I really liked it. I like unique bacon, or not unique bacon, <laughs> unique jerky flavors. And it inspired the snack mix, which I'm excited to send with my husband to work and just eat down at the pool when we are out there with some watermelon on the side. And yeah, thank you guys again for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time with another grocery haul. Bye.